All right, so today we'll talk about our next um, part of the lab one. Now here we'll uh, start with a, with another number system. Remember in the last class we talked about uh, the binary number systems and we tried a couple of conversions between binary and decimals. So the hexadecimal is a different number system. Now just like the decimal and binary, um, it has some specific digits for an example. In the hexadecimal numbers, you have 16 digits, which is even more than decimal, okay? So the digits are like this. So for an example, the base, the first 10 digit from zero to nine are exactly same like decimals. Now after nine, 10 is A, 11 is B, 12 is C, 13 is D, 14 is E, and 15 is F. So there are 16 digit in hexadecimal number system. So basically this is called 16 base number system. Now remember in the binary we only had two digit, right? Zero and one. But you were still able to write everything that you can write in decimal. Similarly in hexadecimal numbers, you will be still able to write every single number using this 16 digit, okay? They may not look like exactly um, like the, um, decimals or binaries, but they can be equivalent, okay? Now, let's first try how we can convert from binary to hex. So that means you'll be given a binary number and you will be converting it back to hex. So we already know how the binary numbers look like, right? So I actually give a, you know, I, I, I'm, I, I gave a chart here. So I tried to write all the equivalent numbers so for an example, this is my decimal zero, this is my hex zero, and this is my binary zero in four bit. So I pretty much wrote all those numbers up to zero to 15. So I think you already have seen some binaries. So even if you don't understand how to convert it, so you pretty much can guess that the binary will look like something similar. So, and then you already know how to convert between uh, decimal and binary. So you can pretty much do that between the first column and third column, but the middle column is something that we probably don't know at this point. Now, let's take a binary number first. Now, let's say for an example, you are given a binary number, okay? Now, this is like, you know, as you can guess, the binary numbers are usually wrong, so this is a long number, and at the very end of the number, there is a subscript, which is two. Now, a lot of times when, you, when we actually use different number systems and write in different number systems, we use this kind of subscript so that people understand what number system you are actually using. By two, we are just trying to mean that this is a binary number because binary number is a two base number system, okay? It doesn't mean anything except the numbers. And because think about these numbers, because I can just write this number and tell, oh, this is a decimal number. I can write the same number and tell, oh, this is a binary number. I can write the same number and I can tell this is a hex number because binary, decimal, and hex all these three number system have zero and one, right? So if I just write something using only zero and one, nobody can tell what I'm actually writing, unless I just use the subscript. You cannot write the subscript in pause, but, but in the page and paper, you know, we, we, we try to write the subscript. So this is a binary number, and we are trying to find the hexadecimal equivalent of this number, okay? This conversion is actually very easy. What I, we do is, this is how we actually do it. We actually take, we start from the very right side and take four bit at a time, four bit at a time. So what is my first four bit here? One, 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 zero, right? And then I look at the chart, I find one, 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 zero. See the one, 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 zero is here, right, in binary? And the equivalent hex digit is what? E, right? That's my hex digit for that. So I know this is E and then I go for the next four digit in binary. What, is, what, what are my next digit? Zero, 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 zero. This is just zero, right? You can just take a look at the first row, right? On the chart. And the next one is what? Zero, one, one, zero. Again, if I take a look at my chart, this is my zero, one, one, zero, right? Which is equivalent to my hex digit, six. And the very last digits after this point you actually have three digit. But remember, we always take four at a time, right? So what you can do is, since you have three, you can fill the digit by zero, right? The left one, 
you can assume there is a zero because there is no harm if you assume zero at the left side. So it's actually zero, zero, one, one. So if I go back to my chart, it's zero, zero, one, zero is here, which is equivalent to hexadecimal three. So that means my number is actually three, six, zero, E. This is actually very simple. All I do is I start from the right side, take four bit binary at a time, and just find my hexadecimal digit from the chart and write it down. Now, if you understand up to this point, let's go to our next lab, which is lab 1B, and try to answer the first couple of questions where you are given a binary number in every question, and you have to write a hexadecimal equivalent for that using this chart. Okay? Let me give a pause here so that we can complete those uh, questions and then we'll get back to the next one. All right, so now we'll try the reverse one, like from hexadecimal to binary, which is again very simple. That means in every question, next questions, you'll be given a, a hexadecimal number, and you have to find the equivalent number from binary. So we'll be again using the same chart, okay? For an example, let's say you are given a, a, a hexadecimal number, uh, which is 1F4. And as you can see in these examples, we are actually writing the subscript. But remember, you will not be able to write the subscript in pause, but we write the subscript. You see that at the end of the number, we wrote 16, right? At the, at the right subscript side. The reason we write 16, just to make sure that anybody understand this is a hex number, okay? But that's nothing is so important because you already know this is a hex. So what I'm doing is I'm looking at all the digits. For an example, once I see four, this is a hex four, right? So I look at the chart. So this is my four in hex. So this is my four bit in binary, right? All I'm doing is just for four, I'm writing those four bits, zero, one, zero, zero. And my next digit is F. Again, I'm going to the chart. So here is my F, right? So I look at my binary, four ones. So I wrote my four ones. And then very left digit in hex is one. So I go to the chart. I'm just taking the one, uh, four bit for one, four bit of binary, and I'm writing it. So just, it's very simple. All you have to do is just look at the chart and write the corresponding four bit in binary, okay? So let's complete the remaining five questions we have in 1B, and then once we are done, make sure you save every question. Once you are done, submit it, check your grade. If you don't like it, you can try it again later, okay?
Okay, so if you are done with lab, uh, the, the, this part, so you are actually done with lab 1B. So just submit it, and again, um, you can try it again and again, just like any other quizzes. If you don't like your grade, try it again, okay?